for today's little adventure, we're going to be reading Froggy's First Kiss by Jonathan London. Froggy's First Kiss by Jonathan London. It was the week before Valentine's Day, and for Froggy, Valentine's Day meant candy, but it also meant love. At school, Froggy's mind wandered. Froggy! Cried his teacher, Miss Witherspoon. What? Kindly pay attention, dear. And that's when he saw the prettiest girl frog in the world, a new girl in class. Her name was Frogalina. And when she smiled at him, his insides got all soft and wiggly like he'd had caterpillars for breakfast. Froggy! Called his teacher. What? Your eyes should be on your work, dear. It's not polite to stare. Oops, said Froggy. At recess, Frogalina smiled at him through the monkey bars. He was hanging upside down, and when he saw her, he fell smack on his head. Boink! At lunch, Frogalina sat beside him and smiled and opened her lunchbox. Like, a, I have a treat for you, Froggy. Close your eyes. And she gave him a big, juicy apple. After lunch, Froggy and Frogalina played tetherball together. Frogalina would wound up, sock the ball, and Froggy was so busy gazing into her eyes, the ball hit him in the head, boink, and knocked him down. At lunch the next day, Frogalina smiled and opened her lunchbox. I have a goodie for you, Froggy. Close your eyes. And she gave him a cookie shaped like a heart. That afternoon, Froggy and his class made Valentine's. They cut hearts out of paper, some big, some little, some red, some pink. And oh, just one Froggy wrote, I love you. He didn't want any of his classmates to see, especially Frogalina. So he worked under his desk. Froggy! Called Miss Witherspoon. What? Please work out your seat, dear, and don't make such a mess. When Froggy stood up, he hit his head on his dead. Bonk! On his desk. Bonk! And everybody laughed, especially Frogalina. At lunch the next day, Frogalina sat beside him again. She smiled up at her lunchbox. I have a surprise for you, Froggy. Close your eyes. And what do you think she gave him? A big juicy kiss. Smack on his cheek. Blah! Splutter Froggy. Looking more red in the face than green. Froggy grabbed his lunchbox and flopped away. Flop, flop, flop. His stomach felt so weird he couldn't eat his lunch, not even dessert. On the bus home after school, everybody teased him. Even Max, his best friend, they sang, Froggy has a girlfriend. Froggy has a girlfriend. No, I don't, cried Froggy. <clears throat> when the bus stopped, he flopped all the way home. Flop, 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 flop. But his heart felt heavy. Was it love? Was it hunger? Was it his backpack filled with Valentine's cards? What do you do at school today, Froggy? Asked his mother. We made Valentine's, said Froggy. Did you make one for someone special? Froggy turned almost purple and flopped into his room. Flop, flop, flop. The next morning on Valentine's Day, Froggy served his mother breakfast in bed and said, Mom, that someone special is you. And he gave his mother the big heart with the I love you on it. And his mother gave Froggy a whole bunch of kisses. Candy kisses. The end.